Well, last July I fell down the steps and actually cracked my back on the edge of the step above where I landed. There was pain. There was pain and I had lost a lot of balance just standing. I had no sensation in my leg. It constantly felt like it was asleep. I'd be walking, you know, right, left, right, left, but the left foot wasn't always where I thought it was going to be. And so uh, I told my daughter, it's time, it's time to go find out what's going on. Harriet was completely sidelined at this point because of pain. She had severe sciatica or leg pain because of nerve compression and she also had the mechanical back pain. And I saw that given the imaging and given her problem, there was an opportunity to make her better. One advent that has recently become available is robotic technology. When I spoke to Harriet about the possibility of using this new technology, she was very excited. Well, I like the idea that I would be the first to try it. Um, and I like the idea that it was supposed to be 100% accurate. I just had a lot of confidence in him from the, from the beginning. I just wanted to feel better. I wanted to be able to do things. People get excited when they realize that there are new potential interventions and strategies to help them get better faster. In a way, she's a pioneer, like a lot of my patients are, as we trial new therapies. In Harriet's case, she had significant degenerative changes, making the routine placement of screws difficult. Really the most important aspect are two things. One is to decompress the nerves, and then secondly, stabilize the spine through the usage of putting screws and rods in to hold the spine together, and that's what we call a spinal fusion. What we were able to do was to get a CAT scan in surgery, and then on a computer screen, plan exactly where we wanted those screws to go. And then have a robot take us precisely for each and every one of those screws to the exact entry point, allowing us to place that hardware with really sub-millimeter accuracy. And this is something that we really have never had the opportunity to do until very recently. Afterwards, I, the pain was just gone. I have sensation, I can feel things in my left leg now. I felt better right away. It was amazing. How are you feeling? I feel marvelous. It looks fantastic. Wow. It healed up perfectly. As a surgeon, part of the art of what we do is picking the right treatment for the right patient. And that's something we strive to do here at Johns Hopkins every day. Oh, you won! <laughs> Today is four weeks after the surgery. I'm able to do more than I could do in a long time. I used to hesitate a little bit when I would be called into active grandmother duty, but now I don't worry about that. I'm much more able to enjoy being a grandmother. <laughs> it's not just a physical ability, but I have the idea now that I can do more, and I do.